star of Corsica in 2005, few drivers will ever come close to rivaling Didier Auriol in the mountains above Ajaccio. The Frenchman racked up no fewer than six victories on the island over his 21 years as a WRC driver, and few people would doubt his place amongst rallying's all-time greats. Starting his WRC career in 1984, it wasn't long before he was notching up wins. And it was in 1992 that he truly proved himself as a world championship contender, becoming the first driver to win six events in a year, a feat only bettered by Sebastian Loeb in 2005. But it was two years later that Oriol truly struck gold. Making the switch to Toyota power, he blitzed the opposition to become the first ever French World Rally champion. Always striving for perfection, the following year he felt it was time for a change and drafted in the services of experienced co-driver Denis Giraudet. It was a partnership that would last for nine years. Inside the car, of course, he was like a lion, completely uh, in, a, in a different mind, you know, and uh, fighting a lot and uh, moving uh, a lot in, in the car, you know. It, it was funny, as soon as you have a, a short straight, he was moving. He, he's, his legs like uh, like crazy, you know, like if you want to go faster and faster. And in 1999, the pair came close to clinching the championship together. It was uh, one of his days where uh, it was our chance. We have to go flat out from the from the start, and so we did. We were uh, leading, but Didier was still pushing hard, and we end up uh, into one of his nice uh, Australian trees. And it was the end of our rally and of our chance of being a world champion, unfortunately. With Toyota pulling out of the championship at the end of that year, Oriol moved to Seat in what became a season plagued with retirements. But he didn't have to wait long for another bite at the championship. In 2001, Peugeot drafted him in to partner the reigning world champion Marcus Gronholm. It ended up becoming a memorable season, but for all the wrong reasons. I need to adjust a very few things on my car. Don't change completely the car, but just a little bit the, the setup. And uh, they don't want that. I was trying to, to speak with the people. I say, why you, you pay me so much if you don't let me the possibility to, to go a little bit faster? So, I mean, after two or three months, I take the decision to don't stay with Peugeot. Maybe they don't want me anymore, but it was my decision. His last WRC win came in Spain that year, but his passion for the sport made him strive to carry on. Competing in his final full season with Skoda in 2003, Oriol was as committed as ever. I am a perfectionist. Um, I am ambitious. Uh, I like to win. <laughs> Few people will ever be able to rival the speed, passion and skill of Oriol behind the wheel of a rally car. His 20 rally wins makes him one of the most successful drivers of all time, and he rightly deserves his place amongst rallying's all-time greats.